Hi, welcome to Fine Dining. I'm Jen. And I'm Drew. Today we're going to try something new and let you know whether the dining is fine or should be left behind. So what's on the menu? So today we have the Milk Bar Compost <laughs> Cookies. That sounds wonderful. Yes, we've been wanting to try these for a long time. They have like all this, you know, following uh, among uh, people all across everywhere that say that Milk Bar is the best. And we don't have a Milk Bar anywhere close to us, so this no. is literally the only way we can eat these. Yes. So this is the grocery store brand, obviously. Yes. The grocery store mm. boxed variety mm. of Milk Bar cookies. Yes. So, not straight from the bake shop. <laughs> right. They are expensive. Oh, They're man. $5, well, $4.99 Ooh. for this little box of eight cookies. It's like a little milk carton. It is. It is like a little milk carton. It's very cute packaging. And on the back, it says, right where you rip the little thing, it says, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. So they're like building up the that sounds anticipation. Very, that's a very enthusiastic box. It sounds like a Ron Paul chip. <laughs> so, so in case you guys didn't know, um, Milk Bar comes from the restaurant in New York, which started in New York, Mamu Fuku. And I can never say that. I still don't even know if I'm saying it right. I think I am. Momu Fuku? Momu Fuku. I like to call it mother. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Momu Fuku. Yes. Okay, so Momu Fuku is a restaurant in New York that was started by the very, very, very famous chef, David Chang. And it was like a ramen place where you could get like real bowls, really good looking bowls of ramen <laughs> with um, pork buns and all that kind of stuff. And when he had this restaurant, he hired a pastry chef called Christina Tosi. And that pastry chef is where Milk Bar was born. Uh huh. Because the pastry, she used to be the pastry chef at Momofuku and then. She branched out, and now, like, these are across, I don't know where exactly. Highly successful, though. Yeah, but I don't know where they are across oh. the country, like the actual bakeries. Um, but obviously, we don't have any near us. The coast? New York? Probably, California. probably. And they have this, um, like, devoted following, and one of their things that everybody, that they're known for is the compost cookie. So that's what we're going to try today. Compost cookie is kind of like a version of the kitchen sink cookie. Right, which is a very, very good cookie generally. The best. Okay, so I'm going to open the it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Okay. I wonder if anything's going to happen. I don't know. Ooh, that's messing up of, of the carton. Loud. That's what happened. Okay. So yeah, it's like a little milk carton is the idea. And inside, this is interesting too. They're packaged individually. Oh, they're cute. So there's eight cookies total in here, but there's two per little package. So that's good because you can keep them fresh. Yes, you can put them in your kid's lunch thing and they can be pretentious little... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> I'll trade you my compost cookie for your cornflake cookie. Yeah, right. Okay, so these... Um, do you want to go ahead and open them so we can show people? Yes. Also, are you going to say what's in a compost? Yes, of okay. course. <laughs> we're we're going to do the schooling. Okay. Okay. So, well, actually, this this one is called compost cookie, but there's also other names that these kind of cookies are called for, which Drew mentioned, like kitchen sink. It's the idea is that you make a cookie with a bunch of crap you have laying around, basically. Yes. And some of them have slightly different ingredients. This particular one has chocolate chips, peanut butter chip. Is it peanut mm -hmm. butter? I think there's peanut butter. I see some peanut butter. Huh. You know what? I, did, I don't remember exactly I'll read from if the it box. was peanut butter or not. We have a cheat sheet. We do. Okay. So in this particular compost cookie, pretzels, potato chips. Ooh. 
Coffee. That's an interesting one because that's not usually in your average cook, kitchen sink cooking.、Um, oats, graham crackers, chocolate chips, and butterscotch. butterscotch. It's not peanut butter.、Ah. Okay, there's no peanut butter in here. Butterscotch. So that's what's in here. Obviously, they're going for the salty sweet、yeah. thing, and the. Curious to know if we're going to be able to taste all these things in there. I think the butterscotch is actually more special than peanut chips, and yeah, I mean, and on the、less. on the box here it shows the little crushed up things. Yeah, so we have crushed up potato chips and graham crackers and pretzels. That's an interesting idea. Oh yeah, if you were saying I'm baking cookies and you were going to crumble up all that stuff,、mm -hmm. I'd be like, sign me up. Yeah. So okay, these are compost. And it was one of the things that she got to be known for when she was still working at Momofuku. Yes. So I think they're very pretty. Yeah. It's got a lot of chocolate. They're、chips. pretty. You can see a lot of the items. Well, some of them you can see more of the chips than the. Yeah. You can see more of the chocolate and butterscotch chips than say the potato or pretzel. Yeah, but I guess you wouldn't be able to see that because it would be the same color as the cookie part. That's true. Or maybe. But it、way. does look like it has some texture to it, so maybe that's where the texture is coming from. Yeah. Okay, so I want to say something, and I'm not going to try to prejudge or anything. Uh. But it kind of has a prefab cookie smell. It does have a bit of a prefab cookie smell. Those. Mystery oils, but sometimes prefab cookies can hit a spot. So let's see. I can't tell. Is that coffee? Is that oats? I smell、mm -hmm. something that、yeah. is not quite familiar. Okay, let's give it the taste test. Okay. Okay. Those sounded better on paper than they're doing in reality. Agree. Hmm. Okay. So, What happened? Oh well. <laughs> Remember how I said it smelled <laughs> like a prefab cookie? It tastes like a prefab. It、cookie. tastes like a prefab cookie. And not in the good mm -mm. way. <laughs> no. I mean, I do have to admit that we're not big on packaged cookies. No, but I mean, like, but Famous Amos is pretty good for a、oh, prefab prefab cookie. A regular Chips Ahoy is pretty much. Mm -mm, oh, mm -mm, when you were a kid? Okay, well, when I was a kid, but I'm talking about now. Okay, an Oreo is a prefab cookie that we eat. Well, yeah, but I mean of the chocolate chipish variety. Okay. Anyway, these taste like prefab cookies, is what they taste like. They do. Also, I can't taste coffee in there for sure. No, it has some funky, something funky, but nondescript. Yeah, it. Oh wait, have、um, you ever had? Keep、oh, talking. Okay, those cookies that their their sell is that they're soft baked cookies. There's some kind of、um, something that they do to make packaged cookies that are called soft bake. Right. Oh. There's something they do to it that makes it not very yeah, good. Yeah, this is what it's reminding me of. Okay. When they first, I don't remember what year it is because I'm an old old man. But when Chips Ahoy they came out with the soft bake version,、mm -hmm. and it seemed so enticing. It was like a Chips Ahoy, which you don't like as much, but maybe、okay. Drew liked Chips Ahoy. And I was like, oh, let's have a soft bake. It's like that. There's some sort of major artificial, yeah, ungodly. This is nothing like when you sit there and take like a Toll House break and eat cookie and make it in the thing. It's trying、right. to evoke it, and it is just failing. Right. One point oh soft baked cookie is what that tastes like. Yeah. The if you if you've ever had anything that really touts the soft bake on the package, you might know what we're talking about. Yeah.、There's、I feel like they've done better. That I bet they've evolved since. I'm、then. just trying to think of one that I like because, really, thinking about it, the prepackaged cookies that we like, yeah, are more of the crunchy, crunchy. variety. Are there any soft at the Pepperidge Farm? 
Not that I can think of. No, those are crunchy too, aren't they? Yeah, and they're really not that great either. <laughs> I mean, okay, maybe we're a little bit cookie snobs. Apparently so. It could be that. <laughs> but I can guarantee you that if we walked into Milk Bar, yes. we would probably love their cookies. Yeah, I mean, this is not... They're that. known for being a fresh bakery, so right. I'm sure that whatever you get in the place is out of this world, which is where they got their name and where they got their following and all. But in a way... <laughs> They're messing with the brand. That's... Yeah. I'm less excited to try Milk Bar now. Yes, That's why did they do they're that? They're watering down the brand <laughs> by putting this grocery store line out. And yes. um, I'll just tell you a little bit about the grocery store line really fast. Okay. Oh. I don't know when they came out with the grocery store line, but it can't have been it's that long ago. It's pretty recently, within the last couple of years yeah. for sure. So you'll see, you don't see them everywhere either. They're only in so certain stores. Yeah. We got and, it at a fresh market, I think. Right. But they also have it at Kroger, it says, but I don't know if they have all of the flavors. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, there's several flavors. One of the things are the packaged cookies like this that comes in the milk carton looking container. There's this brand, com I mean, this flavor, compost. There's also a cornflake chocolate chip, which Ooh, sounded good. That sounds wonderful. Like something we might want to try, but now that we've tried this one, I don't know. Oh, also, just to interrupt for a sec. There's no, it said pretzels, it said potato chips. I'm getting no crunch. There's the hint, this no, tiniest yes. hint, but you hear those words, you want, you yeah. know, like. It's all soft. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, keep going. Okay, so they have the cornflake chocolate chip marshmallow. These, they have a confetti cookie, which, you know, I would never buy, but <laughs> it exists. There's also a cookie called pancake cookie, which Ooh. would sound enticing to me. Which, maybe it could be better because it wasn't trying to evoke all these things. Right. But at the same time, if it has that soft bake, I'm not going to want that prefab taste. No. And then there's also a strawberry shortcake cookie. Oh, that sounds good, too. They also sell ice cream in the pints. One of their big flavors that she got to be known for, one of the things that took off, was the cereal milk flavor. Oh, yeah. So there's a cereal milk ice cream. And then they also have these new things called truffle crumb cakes. And those look kind of good. I looked at what they are. Did you see anything about mm -hmm. those? They look like little... Um, they almost look like the milk bar answer to Little Debbie. Ah. If you like Little Debbie, but you want to pay five times the price and have less of them. Right. And I bet you it's probably not as good as Little Debbie. But no, that's another know. problem of this is, is that this is a high-end $5 box, small box of cookies. Mm -hmm. This should kill, and it tastes like... If I got this for a dollar, a dollar general, and it just said soft baked cookie, <laughs> yes. I'd be like, okay, well, I mean, it is a soft baked. The chocolate has no charisma. No. The butter. Uh, the chocolate in Famous Amos tastes better. Right. Like, mm -hmm. it's succeeding on none of the levels. None. Yeah, I agree. I agree. The the truffle, if, if we ever end up seeing the truffle crumb cakes anywhere, I might want to give it a try just because in a little Debbie, little Debbie form is supposed to be soft <laughs> to start with. Right. So, and little Debbie is yeah, it has prefab like a, all the way down. Yeah, that's so. true. I mean, they are. So they're, the truffle crumb cakes are coming if they're not, I haven't seen them anywhere yet, but yes. they have like a coating on the outside with like soft on the inside, like little sandwich thing, I don't yeah. know, some kind of something. I think we should get so, down to ratings, shouldn't we? We should. We should rate this cookie. I'm going to... I dislike this cookie. Yeah. I dislike it. I don't ever want to eat them again. So I guess I'll give it a one. A one? Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of the cookie, but I'm going to give it like a three. I mean, it's a bare minimum. I would not eat it again. I would not buy it again. If I was on a desert island, though, and I had to eat that or die, I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's different. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's, mm -hmm. I've tasted ones that I've spit out of my mouth, like in the, yeah, oh, well, this is awful. That's true. That's this true. is just soul crushingly disappointing, and there's no point of it whatsoever. It's called a compost cookie. We're going to take the rest of the box and <laughs> chuck it in the compost bin. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, 
I, I thought that you might say three when you started to say what you were going to give it. And yeah. three is not a good rating. I mean, it's pretty much just not good is basically what you need to know. It's not good. You don't want it. And no matter what, it is definitely 100% not worth the price tag. No, even if this winds up at big lots for half the price, don't no. do it. Mm -mm. <laughs> but not to say that if we weren't by an actual real milk bar, oh, no, that that's... we wouldn't try things from there. Um, one of the other things that they're really famous for, which I don't think they've managed to figure out how to get into a grocery store, is they have this pie yeah. that used to be called crack pie. Crack pie sounds like it was made for me. I love crack. <laughs> so, so actually, recently, well, in recent years, they changed the name because it was insensitive to, you know, the addiction of, to crack. They, it triggers the crack babies. Yes. So they changed the name from crack pie to milk bar pie. Uh, that's boring. Yeah. So, but I mean, it, it had a huge following. And so maybe if we were in an actual milk bar, we would order the <laughs> milk bar pie. <laughs> I'd be like, give me three of those crack pies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, okay, so that's really all there is to say about these milk bar cookies. At least you can save your hard-earned money. We took the hit for you once again here at Fine Dining. Right. We will see you next time on Fine Dining. Fine Dining, y'all.